This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Welcome back. More with Coach Farley recapping that big win at Western Illinois. And we talked about the defense. We talked about the offense. I really like what Michael Malloy has brought to this attack uh, the last several weeks. Talk about his performance leadership-wise on and off the field as well. Well, he, what you see in the field, somebody's really playing hard. And you can see the extra effort that he's putting forth every down that he's in, trying to get the extra yard or make the play. So that stood out the other day, whether it was feeling the onside kick or getting the ball to the pylon to get the get the touchdown that to, to, to put it up by two possessions. So that tenacity of play, you know, rubs off on other people, and, and he's really doing that for the past, oh, five to six weeks. You kind of see him ramp up his game week to week. The Panthers always look good against whoever they face. It was the 80th win in program history against the top 25 program. Just the confidence going on the road, backs against the wall, and, and why was this win special, just how this collective group came together to, to win on the road at Western Illinois? Well, that's a great feat when you say that's the 80th win against the top 25 teams because you know, you really, we don't go back and look at what they're ranked when we're playing, but when you look back on the production, we're playing good football teams. But the, but the, like you said, the, the trademark of this whole thing is that I really believe our players are stepping up, they're improving. They don't care who they play, they're just trying to play their best game at that time, and they've got great confidence in, in their skill set right now. And so I really believe we're, we're on good footing right now. That's why we'd like to win another one and keep going. How valuable has the last month been for these underclassmen getting into these positions, whether it's offensively, defensively, game day experience? Yes, it's helping out them mature in front of our eyes this year, but in the future as well, a lot of talented freshmen and sophomores playing well, key, key roles. As you said, the last five weeks, and now going into the sixth week, I believe, is you've got a redshirt sophomore quarterback who's really stood out to everybody. And he's, he's making mistakes, but he's correcting those mistakes week to week and getting better. So what he's achieved on real game days against real opponents. Then when you look at the freshman core of receivers, whether well, it's Trevor Allen is a redshirt freshman, Christian Jagan is a true freshman, Jalen Ryan is a true freshman, Jalen James is a redshirt freshman. That's a lot of youth out there that are getting game experience in their first year playing here. So you're looking at three year, four year starters that are gonna work together as receivers and quarterbacks. So I think Things are in good position right now, but we always want things immediately, so we're trying to make things happen right now. Here's a story on those young freshman receivers. <laughs> 